No tournament better reflects the glamour and excitement of the ATP World Tour than Monte Carlo in the spring. The first Masters 1000 event of the season to be played on clay, it marks a crucial stage of the season. I've always enjoyed my time around here in, in, in Monte Carlo and, uh, and I've had some really good seasons here as well. You know, I think I, I was able to make three finals here, I think three, three straight times against Rafa. It's really one of the best uh, places, I would say, to play. You know, probably the perfect start of the clay court swing. Uh, probably the best setting on the on the tour. Weather is um, beautiful, and you normally get very good crowds in from right right at the beginning of the week, so there's good atmosphere. We're always excited to come here to Monte Carlo, and um, we've played some good tennis here, so we're looking forward to doing that again. Of course, with such a passionate home crowd. This is a tournament very close to the hearts of the game's French contingent. I always played well here in Monte Carlo, so no, I love this tournament. So when I was a child, I came to, to watch it when I was nine, 10 years old. So no, I really like to, to play there. And uh, yes, there are a lot of people and, and that's really nice. That's one of the most beautiful tournaments in the year. All the players have had some favorite tournaments and Monte Carlo is one of mine. And I was born in Nice also. So. <laughs> I have uh, my family here, and uh, so it's nice to play, and it's a tournament I want to play every year. This would be an important event for one Frenchman in particular, marking the long-awaited return from injury for Gael Monfils. I'm pretty happy, excited to be back here, and uh, you know, as usual, I love playing clay court, so to start by Monte Carlo for me, it's, it's very great. The people are lovely here, so. Of course, uh, when you play home, you want uh, a lot of support, and uh, and of course for my comeback, you know, and uh, I will have, I will need some uh, ex extra support. So it will be pretty cool and pretty fun. So. Monte Carlo is the first of three ATP World Tour Masters 1000 events played on clay. The start of the European swing on the red dirt, and that means preparing for a special challenge. Yeah, you can. Uh... Use a lot of a lot of uh, shots that you're not using on, on the other surfaces much. So uh, definitely, it's a it's a creative part of the season. Uh, I think patience on the clay is important. You, you need to make sure you're you're hitting every ball, but um, playing patiently, you know, you can't really rush points on the surface. Uh, all of the guys move really well. It's obviously very slow, so you need to expect to play long rallies, and um, you know that's really what I've been been working on. Really, my shot selection, picking the right shots to go for, and that's the plan. A rejuvenated sounding Andy Murray revealed he'd been giving careful consideration to his current coaching setup. In Madrid and Rome, I'm going to work with uh, with Darren Cahill, who works with the Adidas Player Development Program, um, and the week before the French Open. So that's really the plan in the, the immediate future. But um, once I have a bit of time off, I've got a week between um, the tournament in Barcelona and the tournament in Madrid. I'll make a few phone calls, speak to a few people about about full time uh, full time role. Another man expecting to do well in Monte Carlo, last year's beaten finalist, Fernando Verdasco. The Spanish left-hander is a clay court specialist. After last year, playing really well, uh, you know, I'm trying to, to get the level of clay again, and uh, I'm feeling happy to be back on clay, and, and hopefully I will have a good tournament here and a good clay season. Bye. Thank you. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're back on the Red Star for the Real Club de Tennis for the Barcelona Open Bank Sabadell. And in the wake of the tsunami disaster in the Pacific, we speak to the inspirational Japanese number one, Kei Nishikori. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. And talk with us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash ATP World Tour and Twitter using at ATP World Tour. See you next week.